Welcome back to the AGS tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about sounds. Now we already talked about one type of sound um, and that was uh, speech, to make your character speech using um, voice actors or what have you. Um, so we're not going to talk about that. If you want to learn about that you can look at um, the appropriate uh, tutorial video for that. But what we are going to talk about in this one is just um, uh, both sounds and music, how to do both of those. Um, so the first thing we'll talk about is sounds. Now let's just say that we have uh, we have our room after fade in uh, function here in our intro room that we've been creating in the last couple of videos. Let's say we want to create a uh, want to play a sound as soon as the uh, player enters the room after the screen is faded in. We want to play a sound, and let's just say we want that sound to be a foghorn. So what, the first thing that we want to do obviously is is create our sound or find a sound or what have you. Um, from the internet or to create your own sound uh, that you want to use um, in your you know home Foley studio wherever you happen to have that uh, and so I have I happen to have the um, uh, foghorn sound that will that will play uh, right after the uh, the screen is faded in so the first thing that we need to do is put that sound in the correct place in AGS uh, editor in your game so that so that AGS editor will be able to find it so I'm gonna bring up um, Windows Explorer here uh, I've got a, a sound file here called foghorn.wave and if I play that sound you can hear that it's just a regular foghorn sound so let's just say that this is the sound that I want to play uh, within the game so what I can do is right click on that um, copy now I'm gonna go into my um, Sammy's Quest game here I'm actually gonna change it to view details um, so we can see more more files here but um, you have several different directories within your game now if you remember in the speeches in the speeches tutorial um, about voices I, I told you to put the um, the speech sounds within the speech folder um, sprites go in the sprites I have a folder for backgrounds you may or may not have these folders uh, backgrounds for example you might not have um, but I just created that folder to store my background so there are several different folders here well obviously sound uh, goes in the sound folder and it has to go there in order for AGS to be able to find it so under your main game heading Sammy's Quest in this case you have a sound folder go into that folder and uh, put your uh, sound file now your sound file can be any supported sound file that AGS supports um, currently AGS supports uh, WAV files, AUG files that's OGG, um, MP3 files or VOC files, VOC. In this case, we have a WAV file, which is WAV. Um, so that's the one we're going to use. Now, it doesn't need to, it shouldn't be called foghorn.wav. What it needs to be called, similar to what your speech files were, they were numbered. Um, that's the same way with your sound file. So I need to call this sound one. No space, um, capitalization, I don't think matters, but um, it needs to be called sound and then a number. That number is just, you start at one and just go forward from there. This number right here is what we're going to refer to this sound as in the script. So sound one will be referred to as sound number one within the script. So, so I've got my file in there, my sound file. Now I'll go back into AGS editor and wherever I want to play the sound, I simply do a play sound. So in this case, I want to play just after the screen is faded in. I'll put a play sound. Oops, not plus sound, but play sound. And then now the first thing it wants is, uh, the only thing it wants is the sound number. Now, and this is the number that I used for the sound file file name. In this case, sound one is sound number one. So that's all that there is to it. Play sound one. Now when I run the game, okay, you get that foghorn sound right away as soon as the, the screen fades in. So that's exactly what we want. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about now then is is uh, ambient music. Uh, the if you remember in the little uh, cutscene that you saw um, earlier in a couple videos back, uh, there there was some uh, music playing in the background. Now, any any kind of background music is called uh, ambient music. It's music that plays in uh, ambiently in the background. Um, so again, this is very similar. What you'll need to do is find find a sound, either create create a sound. Um, file or find a MIDI file or something like that from the internet. The um, the file the file extensions that uh, AGS supports for set for music files are um, AUG, MP3, MIDI, Wave, Mod, XM, IT, 
and S3M. Um, so it gives you a very wide range of, of music files. Typically you're probably going to be using MIDI or MP3 or maybe WAV files um, for your music. So those are the, probably the three most common. And, and AUG, sorry, AUG files as well. So those are probably going to be your most common um, file formats for, for music. Um, so in this case, let me bring up um, uh, my Explorer window again. And in this case, I'm going to go, um, I have a Freddie Farkas MIDI file here. Um, this is the, the theme song to Freddie Farkas. It's a MIDI file, thus the MID extension. Um, so if I play it, so you hear the beginning of the Freddie Farkas Frontier Pharmacist uh, ballad from um, from that game from Sierra. So that's the song. That's the let's just say that's the music file that I want to that I want to play. So what I can do then is right click, copy. I'm going to go into my uh, Sammy's Quest folder, and then your sound files were in the sound folder. Of course, your music files are obviously going to be in the music folder. So I'll go into music, and then I'll paste that file in FreddieFarkas.mid. Um, now this time your file name again needs to be very specific but this time it needs to be called music and then a number so music one in this case music one uh, dot mid now I can go into my um, my script file in AGS editor now if I wanted to play that that music file I can simply say play ambient I'm sorry play music and now it wants a music number in this case music number one and so that's all there is to that. Um, so then if I run my game, I should not only hear the, uh, the foghorn sound, but I should also hear the music being played in the background. Okay, and you can hear both being played there. So that's exactly what we want. Now, um, that plays in the background, you know, it, it'll, the music will continue to play in the background on top of sounds or, or underneath, I guess, sounds that are being played as well. So. Um, so that works works just fine. Now, let's just say that uh, our music was the background music in the game, and um, like typical Sierra um, adventure games, you have background music that's sort of looped, um, and that that is uh, the music starts once the music finishes, it just starts back over again. The music starts over again, and it just loops back in the, uh, continuously in the background. Um, while the player is in a certain room or while the player is playing a game. By default, this play music function is going to play once and then stop. So if we wanted that, that um, play music function to loop through the music, what we would need to do then is use a function called um, set music repeat. And now this asks for a repeat uh, parameter. That repeat parameter needs to be one if you want the music to repeat. You would do a one like this. If you did not want the music to repeat, if you turn it, turned it on in, uh, previously and did not want it to repeat, so you wanted to turn the, the repeating of the music off, you'd pass in a zero. So you either pass in zero if you do not want the music to repeat, or a one if you do want the music to repeat. So in this case, I'll say one, um, and then you can run the game, and the music would, would repeat. Now, the, the song that I picked is a fairly long song, so it would take a while for us to listen to the whole thing just to hear it repeat. But just to, just take my word for it and... Um, know that this would cause the music to repeat uh, once it's finished playing. Um, if I wanted to stop the music after a certain period of time, let's just say that I wanted to say uh, after you know ten, after five seconds, let's stop the music. Well, I could say wait. Let's wait for five seconds here. Um, 40 times 5 is 200 game loops. So wait for 200 game loops, which is five seconds. And then let's stop the music. Well, that's just a simple call to stop music. Now, this doesn't take any parameters at all because any music that stopped uh, that's currently playing or queued to be playing to, to play will will stop with this function call. So um, so let's see how that works. So right now the music has started playing. Okay, and then it stopped. That was that was five seconds. Now it wasn't five seconds after you heard the music start, but it was five seconds after it actually started. There's some silence at the beginning of that um, that MIDI file there that uh, that is counted for this five seconds that was away that we waited so uh, so that's how you start and stop music so that's really the basics uh, for for sound and music that I wanted to cover uh, in this video It's fairly simple um, things to do but I just wanted to cover that uh, real very quickly um, in this video just to kind of show you how to play sounds and musics within your game 
In the next video, we'll go over a little bit more advanced uh, topics regarding sound and music within, within AGS. So uh, join us then.